What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boy Facts Johnny. Tonight I'm gonna do my AEW Dynamite review and highlights. If you guys are new, hit that like button, help to YouTube add the rhythm. Subscribe to my channel, I'm on the world of 4K. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. Let's get started. Now, AEW Dynamite was a fantastic show. It was it was fantastic for what it was. Yuji Naga. Yuji Nagata versus John Moxley. This match was fantastic. It was for the IWGP United States Championship. Yuji Nagata is out first, and and, and is followed and is followed out by John Moxley, who is with Eddie Kingston. Moxley is coming out to a to a new theme song, Wild Things from the back for the band that the toss as a tribute to Otina on. On it's uh before the match begins, Bruce Ransomberg holds the bell up. The bell ring, the bell rings, and here and we begin with both Yuji Nagata and John Moxley exchanging strikes. Nagata Nagata hit, hits Moxley with a knee strike followed by a big boot. Um, they show Ricky Ramon. Ram in the in the crowd, the action is outside the ring now, and Moxley delivers a big diving knee strike. The action is back with the ring. It says the action is back in the ring. Moxley hits Nagata with a little press. Moxley now kicks Nagata multiple times, and Nagata asks for some more. Moxley go goes up top and dives towards Nagata, but Nagata catches Moxley. Hits Moxley hits Moxley with multiple kicks and then hits Moxley with an exploded. Nagata fakes fakes a drop kick but catches Moxley, Moxley looking up and then kicks him again. Moxley is gaining multiple kicks to, to the face and Moxley is asking for more. Moxley, and, Moxley is Nagata with a German suplex. Uh, Moxley goes for a power drop but Nagata escapes it and hits Moxley with a back body drop. Nagata hits Mox with a avalanche exploder from the top turnbuckle. Moxley is back up and he gets a few strikes in. Nagata escapes in, in a headlock and puts Moxley in an arm breaker. Moxley and Nagata exchange strikes again and hits and is hit with the insecurity but, but Moxley comes back with a Larry, which takes Nagata down. Moxley goes for another head headlock, but but Nagata Nagata escapes. Both men exchange multiple strikes, and Moxley hits a paradigm shift out of nowhere and goes to pin and get the win over Moxley. After the match, Moxley pay, pays respect to to Nagata by bowing. Um, the winner and the winner of the match and still yeah yeah the IWGP United States Champion John Moxley. They they go to a promo with the inner circle and and they say they want a rematch with the Pinnacle. Cody makes his way to the ring so he can make his announcement on his plans for double or nothing. He cut a promo talking about how he how he is proud to be an American. He's, he then says that Anthony Ogogo has no problems burying the United States and Rose says it's ironic because he ha he has he has a green card. Rhodes says that Anthony Ogogo has a lot of the same rights. A lot of the same same rights same rights that others have. Rose tells Anthony Ogogo he is not living in the England dream. And he is here to live the, the live the American dream. He talks he talks about some of the people he wrestled like Doug Williams and Pac from England. Then then he quotes a song from Willie Nelson. He then talks talks about segregation and talks about America talks about America. He get he gets emotional when he says that his wife will be giving birth to a half. White and half black child. Cody said. Cody Rose says, for one night at double or nothing, he will not wrestle as the American Nightmare, but as the American Dream. Cody Rhodes. Um. So we get um the AEW Tag Team Championships, the SCU versus the Young Bucks for the AEW Tag Team Champions. This match was fantastic. It says Nick Jackson and Frankie Kazarian start the match. 
and both men exchange strikes. Kazarian gets the upper hand and he tags in Christopher Daniels. Daniels and Kazarian double team Nick Jackson by getting multiple kicks and strikes in. They exchange tags multiple times. The young bucks finally control when Matt Jackson delivered a drop kick to Kazarian outside the ring. The young bucks continue their flurry of strikes. Matt Jackson and Daniels hit a dive on the outside of the ring. We go to our first picture-in-picture commercial with the Young Bucks in control. SCU is now in control of the match, and they begin double-teaming the Young Bucks. They hit the slavery rehab. They go for the BME, but Mac Jackson stops down at the top rope. Nick, ja- Nick Jackson hits a powerful bulldog on Frankie Kazarian. Nick hits, a- Nick- Nick hits Daniels with a massive super kick, and Daniels is busted open big time. Nick Jackson hits Kazarian with a buck with a buckle bomb and Matt Jackson kicks the back of Kazarian. Kazarian hits Matt Jackson with the Styles Clash. Nick Jackson hits Kazarian with a power driver. They go for a pin, for a pin. But Daniels is back and back and, and breaks up breaks it up. Kazarian tags in Daniels Daniels goes for the Angel Wings but doesn't hit. Is the Daniels is busted open again after getting open up by Nick Jackson. Matt Jackson is in the corner and pretends he's crying and says, "I'm sorry, I love you." He refer he referenced to Shawn Michaels slash Ric Flair Mania match. Daniels gets super kick and Matt goes for the pin but kick out after the pin attempt. Daniels is is up. And he goes for the BME, but but he falls off the turnbuck and goes for it again. Nick Jackson stops Kazarian from trying to stop the pin, but Daniels kicks out anyway. The referee Rick Knox is distracted, and Matt Jackson sprays something in his in the eyes of Daniels, and Daniels gets super kick again. Matt goes for the pin, but Daniels kicks out again. Now the Young Bucks hit the BTE and get the win. The winner and still your AEW Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks. That was a great AEW Tag Team Tag Team title match between the Young Bucks and SCU. They they go backstage and show Moxley and Eddie Kingston destroying the Elite Locker Room. Back on the commercial break ish and show what happened during the break and, and SCU embrace each other as they are now done as a team. Uh, they came the SCU came up short. But anyway, Christian Cage announced that he has an open challenge match next week. And, and he mentions he will be in the Casino Battle Royal. Matt Sidell appears and says, not so fast. He plans on winning that side of, winning and Sidell signs up for the match next week against Christian Cage. The world title elimination match, Orange Cassidy versus Pac. This, this was pretty good. It says, the match begins with both men staring at each other. Orange Cassidy puts on puts his sunglasses on, pack pack and breaks them. Orange Cassidy hits Pack with a beat with the beach break right away and goes for the pin. Pack kicks out. Pack walks out of the uh, uh, walks out of the ring. Cassidy goes for goes goes right after Pack with a taupe suicide. They head out to another picture in picture commercial with the action going back and forth between Orange Cassidy and Pack. They come back from commercial with Pac in control of the match. Pac sends Cassidy into the barricade outside the ring during the match. Tony Siobhan announced that AEW will have a fan fest before double or nothing. Pac is controlling the match but just by just hitting Cassidy with multiple strikes. Pac hits three big shotgun drop kicks from the top turnbuckle. Pac moves Cassidy over, over to the corner so he can end it with a black arrow. Cassidy rolls away from Pac. Pac goes after Cassidy again, but Pac misses, miss, miss a miss and goes into the turnbuckle. Cassidy gets a little off offense in the end, but Pac hits Cassidy with the le- ligger bomb, and Cassidy is immediately hurt. Hurt the the referee Arby Edwards steps in between Cassidy and Pac to check on Orange Cassidy. Cassidy rolls out rolls outside of the ring. The match is being delayed. The trainers comes out to check on Orange Cassidy. D- Don Collins tells Pac to end it, and that Kenny Omega is a is a busy man and needs to end it. Kenny Omega is in the ring and hits Pac with the belt and leaves the ring as the ref is, is dis- the ref is distracted. 
The ref begins to count and she makes it to 10. The match ends in a double count out. The winner, the winner in a double count out. There was no contest. Kenny Omega celebrates that he is he is no longer has a, a match at double or nothing. However, Tony Schiavone informs him you, he will he will now be in a triple threat match. Sign me up to see Pac, Orange Cassidy, and Kenny Omega for AEW World Title. Sign me up to see that. So it says um, they go they go back to the Elite's dressing room and the Young Bucks challenge Marks and Eddie Kitchen at double or nothing. Um, Adam Hangman Page and says he lost to three men because of Taz. Page tells Cage to meet him at double or nothing. Double or nothing. And he tells Cage to leave Taz. The pinnacle is in the ring for their confrontation. MJF starts by saying he is the new demo, demo god. MJF talks about how proud they are of being number one of the rating and vote broke a TSN record. MJO said they broke the record because they had a Canadian Canadian hero and he says it's Sean Spears. Sean Spears, excuse me. Tony Blanchard now has the mic and he tells the crowd he, he, he has gifts for the pinnacle. He And he said he spent thousands on watches for his guys. He says the pinnacle is on the top of the world and they are looking down on everyone else. They then an air horn starts blurring and it's RT Sammy Guevara and Jake Hager arriving in a golf cart with a trailer and Chris Jericho appears with a cast cast on his arm. Jericho tells him Jeff the pinnacle that the inner circle wants a rematch. MJF says no, and Jericho tells Sammy to get them, and Sammy starts holding down the pinnacle with the with the bubbly. MJF says he will give them a rematch, and it will be a stadium stampede, and if they lose, the inner circle has to break up. So we get JR has a sit down with Dr. Britt Baker. Ross says she has come a long way since last year's. Um, Baker says Rose is planting her as a villain as a, vil, a villain and she is okay with it. Baker says Sheeta has been holding the division together. Baker says she is she is the face of the women's division. Baker guarantees to win the AEW Women's Championship at double double or nothing. Donna Rosa versus Jas Jasmine Aura. This match was quick. They be, the match begins with both trying Trying to hold. However, Rosa takes control right away. Donna Rosa is delivering some strong strikes to Jasmine Oliver. Jasmine Oliver tries to get some offense in, but however, Rosa ends up ends that offense right away. Rosa hits the Oliver with a shoulder break, and then the fire thunder thunder uh, driver. Uh, um, the winner of the match, Donna Rosa. As Galibar announced that. Serena Day will return to return next week and will take on Red Velvet. The Young Bucks will wrestle the Varsity, varsity Blondes. Christian Case will go against Matt Tidal next week. We get a promo with Jay Cargill and Tony Siobhan. They show highlights from AEW Ava Asian of Mark Sterling offering to be her manager. Tony asks Jay who will manage her. And she says nobody, and that she will take care of her own business. They come back. They come back from commercial break with a black and white video of Darby Allen taking, talking about Miro. Darby Allen asks Miro what he what was has he accomplished. So we get the TNT Championship match: Miro versus Darby Allen. This was a good main event. Um, Darby Allen. Darby Allen is in the ring first and Miro gets in the ring as Miro attacks Darby Allen right away. Miro is beating down Darby Allen is yelling at the referee Paul Turner to, to ring the bell. Turner won't ring the bell and he is counting the beat down. He continuing the beat down. He throws 
he he throws Miller around some more and then and then throws him over the barricade into the first first now. They show Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page just laughing and enjoying what's going on with Darby Allen. The best rings st- the bell rings to start the match and Miller hits Darby with a super kick right away. Miller goes for the pin, however Darby kicks out at, at two. Miller be- begins celebrating thinking he's won. Darby rolls out of the ring out of the ring. Miller goes after him. But Darby gets some offense when he sends Miller into the ring post. Darby only hits the cannonball. Top suicide. Top suicide. Darby goes back inside the ring and he goes for the coffin drop. But Miller catches him and drops with a belly to back suplex. They head out to the final final commercial, but they show Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky attacking Sting during the during the break. Miller is throwing Darby Allen around. But Darby counters one of Mirror's moves into a stunner and then Darby hits another stunner. Darby goes for the coffin drop but Mirror catches him. Mirror throws Darby out into the corner. Darby however lands on his feet. On his feet, Darby hits Mirror with the code of code of the code red. And he goes for the pin, but Mirror kicks out at two. Darby has Mirror in a sleeper again, but Mirror gets out of it. Mirror locks in his submission and the referee calls for the bell. After the bell, Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page go after Sting. But the Dark Order say Sting, Page, and Sky runs away. Mirror stands tall in the ring. However, Lance Archer comes out and he wants Mirror. The show goes off the air. The winner and st- the winner and your new TNT champion Mirror. This was 100% well deserved by Mirror. Congratulations to Miro on becoming the new TNT champion. This was 100% well deserved by Miro. And um, like I stated earlier, AEW Dynamite was a good show. And I cannot wait till May 30th, double or nothing pay per view. I'm super happy about that show. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my AEW Dynamite review on highlights, please drop a like on this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll leave. Follow, follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. You guys have a great night, and I'll see you guys this Friday on my WWE SmackDown review on highlights. Big Boy Facts Johnny, I'll talk to you guys later. Stay safe. Have a great night. Stay safe. Stay strong. And continue to spread the love and positivity. And that's all I got to say. Big Boy Facts Johnny, and I'm out of here.